<laughs> it goes sideways. Today we're gonna be making a Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat with buggy wheels whistling diesel style. Let's start with the chassis. That's a lot of parts. Now, it's time to work on the body. I got a new pair of curved scissors. I only use the scissors when I need to cut some fine detail. It's pretty sharp and pretty high quality. You can use the scissors to cut the whole thing, but the line would not be as clean as you would have used the blade. There are light buckets for the headlights, but there won't be any lights for the taillights because there's no bucket for them. I'm using small screw M1.2 by 4 to mount the side mirrors instead of the clip. For me, it's a lot easier this way. looking more like a Hellcat now. Are you a Hellcat too? No? Yeah? <laughs> I got everything cut, sent out the edges, and now it's ready for masking tape. Tweezers for stickers. The masking tape is done, now it's time to paint it. Never mind, I still have to do more masking. I go around the trim with 1mm tape first, and then cover the rest up with the bigger tape. Now use a brand new blade to cut the excess off, you don't have to use any pressure. Masking is done, now it's time to hit it with some paint. It's been about 15 minutes, I'm gonna take off the masking tape. It's pretty much completed dry now.
What? That is insane. <laughs> Look at it. It goes sideways. What? <laughs> I'm just being dramatic. But it's pretty cool. I can play with this all day. <laughs> anyway. I think it's time for some stickers. Make sure you squeeze out everything, otherwise there will be air and liquid trapped inside. I'm trying to shrink the stickers so that it will stick to the shape of the body better. I'm pretty much done with mouse stickers. Now, I'm gonna put all the pieces together. <laughs> Time to put it on the chassis. Time to cut the body post. And now I'm going to design the bucky wheels. I'm gonna be using M1.6 x 5 to mount these together. Use a little bit of blue Loctite. Got the wheels on it. <laughs> oh man, it sounds so good. I'm 
I'm gonna limit the steering angle so that it doesn't scrape the body. I'm gonna adjust the dual rate for steering. Okay, now we got the wheels done. It's time for the tail stripes. I drew this one and then print it out using my regular inkjet printer and regular paper just to test it out. So I know that it works. Then I use inkjet water slide decal paper. After it's printed out, paint it with clear coat so that it's waterproof because inkjet printer is not waterproof. After the clear is dry, cut it to shape and then put it in water. After that, you can slide it out and use it as a sticker. It's missing a little white logo here on both sides. My printer cannot print in white. So I'm gonna use my Cricut Maker to cut that out of this white vinyl sheet. Okay, I have decided to put some LED lights on it even though there's no light buckets for the tail lights. There are only front light buckets. But seriously though, Kyoshu, please make the tail light buckets. I'm adding some lights on the sides here too. I got my masking tape on here and then I'm gonna use the polycarbonate body cleaner to remove the paint so that the LED light can shine through. I'm also gonna trim off the black part underneath the sticker. I'm gonna tape down the LED light with Teflon fiberglass tape. There is a glitch when I turn on and off the LED light. To fix that, I'll be using some diodes. One on channel 1 and one on channel 2 to prevent any interference coming from the LED light module. Always turn on the remote first. I need to relocate the switch. <laughs> Done. Off. On. Off. No glitch. <laughs> I'm gonna relocate the switch. I'll put it over here. Sounds pretty cool. Clean up. I 
found out that instead of using dual rate, I can use EPA, endpoint adjustment. get new wheels. a Bucky Hellcat. I hope you guys enjoyed and find this helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you again next time.